Well, Joe Rotella is here and he has brought this amazing little book. Now, I know that this looks like a box, but it's actually a book. So I'm gonna pull it on out and you will see it's this cool book, which is bound together in what is called a piano hinge. Is that right? Absolutely, because it looks like the hinge in a door where the pieces fit together. There you go. And if I flip it over, you can really see it's held together by all these skewers. And you have promised me that this is a simple book to put together. So simple. Let me show you how we started. I decided my book was gonna be six by six. So I took a piece of paper that's 12 by six and we need to score it in half. And I've made a template I can see that template right here. And the reason that it's 12 by six is because it's two pages at once, right? Correct, correct. So we're gonna score it down the center at six inches and then a half inch on either side. So five and a half and six and a half. So you have three score lines, just like you can see here on the template. And you're gonna fold it at all three lines, all in the same direction. Absolutely, and I use a scoring tool to give me a nice crisp fold. And the end result gives us something that looks just like this. Very cool. Now we need to mark where the hinge is going to go. And oh, this is the measuring part. I don't like the measuring part. This is the measuring, the measuring part. part. <laughs> so we're going to mark every inch. Okay. And you want to do it in pencil. Do it kind of light if you can. Okay. And then we're going to go on either side of that inch mark an eighth of an inch. Because the bottom line here is we're trying to make that triangle shape. But ah. this is hard to do. And if you have to do six pages and all this measuring. Right. So I made a little template. I love a man who makes a template. I'm going to give you one even. You can have one. Thank you. And not only is Joe going to give me one, but he's going to give you one too. And it's on the Scrapbook Soup website. So we're going to go ahead and mark all these triangles. And we'll do, do it on every page. Do this in pencil or page. pen? Does it matter? Are you going to cut do it, it away? On, yeah. Well, if your cutting's not great, you're going to want to use pencil okay, so you can so erase. Okay, so do a pencil and do it a little bit light. We're doing it dark, obviously, so people can see Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And so we're going to cut in on either side of the pencil mark to make all these little V shapes. And you can see they they should pull right out. If not, you know, give them a little. Give it an extra little snip in there. Use a good eraser then to take away. Uh, you're so good. I would just be like, Ugh, these pencil marks. I'm bored. Well, no, I'm so this. fussy. Now comes the hinge part. So I've taken the pages, and you can see how they all line up. We're going to deal with two at a time, not the covers. I put the front and back covers aside. So these are the inside these pages. These are the inside pages. And basically fold every other tab of the first page down just to get it out of the way. And I'm using a bamboo skewer. Something with a point is really helpful. And I'm going through the first outside sheet, mm -hmm. then the dark color, then the light color, then the so dark color. So you're weaving, color. essentially. And I'm leaving every other tab of the front one is empty. Every other every tab, other the, tab back the back one. one is empty. Okay, so now these two pages, like if I lift the skewer, may I steal this for yeah. a moment? They're they're totally together. This absolutely, is bound. Absolutely. Okay, so now how we're are gonna we getting do the, the third same. one on? And when we start with the third one, we've already used the first tab of the dark color. So now we're gonna go through the third page. I think we actually haven't used the first Oh, we have one. There you go. It's hard to see. <laughs> it's hard to see when you're holding it away from yourself. There you go. But I'm on a different angle. So there you go. So you go through the one that you haven't used, and that's how you know where to start the every other, but you're continuing that same idea as weaving and Absolutely. every other. And now that third page, actually, it's the signature. The third signature mm -hmm. is bound Oh, now to we're the talking about two. fancy oh, book binding book terms. terms. You're see, so you're smart. You're a pro now. You're, you're a pro so now. Smart. And we just keep going through the whole process like that. OK. And we just keep weaving and doing it Absolutely. and going through. Um, and I know that you were telling me that once you actually have all the little cuts in it, this goes quite fast. You actually had a bookmaking party where you had some friends over, and you all did them together, right? We did. We did. And that's why I made the template, because it was too hard with everybody measuring. OK, now you, the cover. What do we do about the well, cover? Look at where we are here on the first page. You mm -hmm. can see that we have three tabs that we haven't used. Right. So I've got this cut for a cover, just mm -hmm. like we did the other papers. Okay, it's exactly but the same. It started out as 12 by absolutely. 6, the whole thing, yes. But I don't need this first tab, because I'm going to pick it up from this skewer. Okay. And I don't need the third, and I don't need the oh, fifth. Oh, you don't need every other. So I'm going to just pop them in. Mm-hmm. Now I can glue this closed, weave this into this. Oh, okay, so just to be entirely clear so that everybody understands, you've pushed these tabs inside. You're going to apply adhesive to the entire inside so it's completely solid. Oh, you're so good, you have there one here that's go. already done. So this is now, and not only that, it makes your cover thicker and heavier so that this is just, it, it's like a single sheet of paper, but yep. these you did not put any adhesive in here. Absolutely. So now can you show me how you're gonna attach Absolutely. this? Absolutely. So we're gonna go through and I think I have that one. There we go. There you go. Just turn it We're around. We're going to go through that first tab <laughs> of the cover, then the dark purple, then the cover, the dark purple. And you can see how fast it goes Super. if you've got something with a little point. 
So now uh, the other thing is you would do this at the back side, and that's how Same you way. have absolutely no loose tabs, right? And you gave me a great tip, which I was totally excited about, which is if you don't want those little points on yeah, the you skewer. Can, you can saw these off or you could cut them with pliers. When you cut them with these kind of pliers, mm -hmm. though, it makes kind of a point. Oh, it squishes them. I can see that. Well, cat toenail clippers are cat rounded. Cat toenail clippers? And they give you a much nicer rounded edge. Oh, I can see that. And you that. can just hit it with a little sandpaper to make sure that nobody gets mm -hmm. any little splinters or rough parts. That is a smart idea. But now, aren't these skewers going to come they out can. of the book? They can slide So how do you stop that? So we're going to take some wax thread, and I'm going to do it here at the bottom. And you take the wax thread and you basically weave the same way. I see we have round. a weaving theme here. We have a weaving overall. thing. It's weavable. <laughs> so you're gonna keep weaving. It's unbeweavable. It's unbeweavable. <laughs> okay. And, and there so we go. You've gone back and I just want you to do that one more time. So basically you did every other around the top, uh, under the bottom, bottom, around the top. Under the bottom. And then how do you go back the other way? You just loop it over. Exactly. Now we're gonna go over the top under the bottom. And then you the tie top. it in a pretty knot. And I can see over here on this finished one that what you've done with the weaving here is you've actually added then onto those bits all these fabulous trinkets. Trinkets from I garage know. sales and old jewelry. And to give it an ocean theme, we even used little swivels. Very cool. And you gave me a tip, which is you said, we can see the skewers through here. They're very decorative and beautiful. But you actually bought one at a craft fair, which we have down here, where that's not true. You can't see the skewers at all. And I, I noticed that the pages sort of form a checkerboard where they line up. Yeah, yeah. And that's because instead of cutting the triangle, they just cut straight across at every inch mark. So just like it's a It's harder to do. You mean it's harder to do, meaning it's harder to weave, not harder to cut, right? Yeah, you just have to make sure your cut, cuts line up very well between all the signatures. Okay. But and it so is beautiful. I think it's. I think they're both beautiful. I, I personally am going to steal this from you, and you're not going home with it. Um, and then you also said that we had that this little book here, right? also has a little embellishment if you're looking for just a little less. A little less. Now, how are, did you find blue skewers? No, the cool thing is you can take the skewers, in this case they're painted, the one next to it they're stained. Instead of skewers, why not use pencils, uh, paint oh, brushes, I love that idea. Uh, pussy willow branches are nice and straight, so you can get a real organic look, and it doesn't mean every scrapbook has to be 12 by 12. I agree, and one of the things I like so much about this book, because of course now, once your book is together, you can embellish in any way you want, is look at that. Look at that pocket. That's it's easy pocket. to do. Instead of 12 by 6, make it 12 by 8, fold two inches up. I love that idea. And let's talk about the box for a second that it's in. Because one of the tips you gave me is a book like this that has these um, skewers extending from it, it won't stand up. Nope. But putting it in a box makes it decorative and it's a way to do it. So you just made this box out of... Just scraps of mat board. Ah, what a great idea. So anytime you have leftover scraps from framing something or matting it, you can use it to make I a save lovely everything. box. I save everything. Well, me too. We're craft hoarders. It's so thank true. you so much, Joe. I am excited to make a piano hinge book, maybe steal a piano hinge book.